Hi guys, happy Mamapreneur Monday. How are you doing today? Um, it is me, Sharice, from Sharice in Chicago. Um, I am uh, the person that, dig, that digs deep into research to find information that's gonna take our businesses to the next level together. Um, when I say together, I mean us together, um, doing what we love and helping as many people as possible. Um, just and I just look the stuff up so you don't have to. So today we are going to talk about um, The Lazy Genius Way. It is a book and if you watched last week you may have looked for the book and couldn't find it and it's because I said the name wrong. <laughs> I kept calling it The Lazy Genius instead of The Lazy Genius Way but um, I hope that if you Googled it, the book just popped right up for you. Um, I really did enjoy reading this book. Um, it was suggested to me by um, another blogger, influencer, business owner, the Maddie James, and we have to say the because there is only one. Um, I am fangirling, I guess. Uh, she is fantastic. I think I mention her every single week because she gives such great information and if you have not joined her boss fluence group well if you haven't liked her Facebook page that's or follow her on Instagram do both of those things the information that she gives freely is amazing especially if you are an influencer as in like someone who isn't a um, a content creator you um, influence by giving uh, by giving by um, also selling products, um, selling someone else's products. So if you um, are a fashion influencer or if you are a home um, decor influencer, um, she gives excellent strategies. Um, I love following her because she gives excellent business strategies and is a content creator. Um, we um, both do the same things, but she's also an influencer too. And she talks about that. Um, so if you haven't liked her on Facebook or Instagram, I would 1000% do that. And if you haven't joined her um, Boss Fluence group, I would do that too, because it's full of other influencers and business owners who are just giving all kinds of excellent recommendations, information, strategies. I love it. Um, I love being a part of the group. Um, let's see, oh. So the book, The Lazy Genius Way, was um, suggested by her and I picked it right up. I went right onto my Amazon and ordered it and it was at my door, I'm pretty sure the next day. I love Amazon for that. Uh, and I immediately began to read it. It took me a little bit longer to read it because I was reading three other books and that's usually what I do. I'm reading two other books now. I already have the next book I'm replacing this book with. I already have it and I'm ready to read it. Um, but this book, um, The Lazy Genius Way, if you haven't looked it up yet, this is what it looks like. And I love the simplicity of the cover. But um, the author, Kendra Adachi, just another last name that I cannot pronounce. Um, I really don't think that's how you say it, Adachi. Um, it could be, you know, I don't know. But um, Kendra, she talks about um, how to be very effective and you know the last um, few weeks and all of December the last week of November we talked about creating habits that are going to take our businesses to the next level and um, habits that are going to get us where we want to go and she definitely touches on that um, the subtitle or the headline I'd say of this book is embrace what matters and ditch what doesn't and get stuff done uh, does that sound a little bit like if it's not a heck yes, it's a heck no, or am I just trying to fit it into what I love? <laughs> it's probably this, it might be the second one, but I, I mean, it does go along with that. If, um, when I say if it's not a heck yes, it means it's not a heck no, that means embrace what you really wanna do and say no to everything else because it's just in the way. And um, I love that it really just leads right into what we have been talking about for so long. Um, and putting it into action. So if you haven't read it, I hope that this review um, gives you um, the push that you need to go um, pick it up. And I already have it listed on my website and my web 
my website is shreesinchicago.com and it is the last post that I made. So um, that's linked and the book that we talked about last week is also linked on there. Um, along with um, last week's live. Um, and I just posted that onto my Facebook page yesterday. So it's right at the top, one of the first things that you can um, see. But don't go until after the live is over, right? Because this is great information. Um, I feel like this book definitely affirmed everything that I have been discussing with you guys um, since um, the end of um, November. Um, and I really just I'll say it again I love the embrace what matters and ditch what doesn't because I feel like in our culture and like seeing social media there's so much of everyone doing everything and if you are like me and I like to say this is because I'm a creative and I'm I'm an Enneagram um, number seven like I'm always up for a good time and I love to do fun things so um, Part of me is like the ride or die girl, but I'm also like, how long is it gonna take? Do I have to get out of my sweatpants? Like those kind of things, like those are things that I really <laughs> consider. Um, but if it looks good, I'll, I like to try it, but focusing really on what matters to me um, is great um, when, you know, coming up with something else to do or something new. So um, really being streamlined and focused in that um, is great. Um, I have my notes here and I'm looking at them. Um, I'm The book covers a lot. It, it covers, um, it, co the book, is, it covers not just um, business things but it's definitely a way to get your your life kind of streamlined and focused so you can make room for those things that matter to you um, but it's really great because I believe that we could apply it to our businesses um, and every single chapter she's repetitive about these three things um, deciding something once um, asking the question what will make this easier and the third um, thing is starting small um, in the business, I would say that starting or deciding once is something that we all want to do. Um, for myself, I would say deciding once is the equivalent of creating a system. So deciding once that every Monday I'm going to do a Facebook Live. And after my Facebook Facebook Live, I'm going to upload it to YouTube so I can put it on my website and my um blog that I upload it to will go live on Tuesday. That is, I decided that once, that's a system that I've put into place that I've been doing for now about, this will be my fourth upload. Um, now, I haven't done it a lot and that's why I wrote it down. Um, I have the week planned out and I just print it every week and then I fill in what needs to be filled in. So um, creating a system as a creator and we're using online, um, we're using social media to build our businesses. Um, I know that I need to post every single day on um, Instagram. I don't post every single day. That's why I created a habit tracker to see uh, <laughs> what I need to do. And when I say I don't post every day, I mean I don't post into my feed every day. Um, I'm in my stories every day, but not my feed every day. And I'm working to get my feed up every day. Um, so writing that down into my um, what needs to be done this week helps a lot to do that. And I decided once that I want to post every single day. Now sticking with that, that habit and creating that habit and um, being um, consistent, that is what I'm working on. Uh, the second thing, oh. So that's just a system. So she says deciding once we've discussed that's creating a system and that will help us get to where we want to go. Um, and then um, second, asking the question, what will make this easier? For me, it's creating a system. A system makes things easier. Um, what will make things easier um, business-wise? Batching um, our, um, our photos. Yesterday, I took so many photos, more photos than I've taken all year. And now I know that it's the 18th, but I usually take pictures of my kids 
three or four times a day and I really haven't done that I have maybe four photos well not anymore because I took a lot of photos of Amelia yesterday but <laughs> um, in a very funny photo a video of her eating a pizza from Costco that's larger than her head and if you haven't checked it out you should definitely look at it I think it's funny I like belly laugh every single time I look I see it um, anyhow batching that content batching the photos that means that um, we take all of our photos at the same time um, and then we edit all of those photos at the same time for myself um, I would rather edit a photo than take a photo so I am excited to edit the photo so as soon as I take it I'm in Lightroom but it is way more effective to take all of your photos upload them into Lightroom have a filter that you really love a filter um, or preset um, Lightroom talks presets um, so have a um, preset that you love and apply it and then edit from there it's so much faster it takes way less time than going into saturation going into shadows <laughs> whites and blacks and trying to get a photo to look good that's going to be cohesive in your feed so batching helps you to do that and when you're in there you can see what it looks like um, whenever you go back and forth to see if they're kind of cohesive in um, the way that you're editing um, and that saves a lot of time too and that makes it easier um, the last thing that she um, talks about is starting small I am a creative I am 1000% a big thinker I love the example of um, thinking about Ralphie in um, a Christmas story how uh, he has that huge imagination of like his mom um, he's he says a curse word and his mom washes his mouth out with soap and later that night he's thinking about um, like why she'll feel bad later in life because she washes mouth out with soap and he has the huge imagination slash daydream of coming home blind from soap poisoning which is absolutely the best part of the whole movie is when he says soap poisoning um but that is me a big thought with something so small um and I do that for everything and guys rabbit trails we watch we're watching this live every single week with so many rabbit trails, like the one I just did describing Ralphie and soap poisoning. Although it 1000% goes with what I'm talking about, it's the same, like it's the same thing. So um, when she talks about starting small, my brain, whenever I decided that I wanted to start a business, I automatically thought of Martha Stewart. Um, so I love doing these Facebook lives talking about what I'm doing on the back end of business like what am I looking at um, what am I tr where am I trying to grow most in my business and um, last week we talked about growing in storytelling like that is something that I 1000% need to um, look into but um, like that's back end that's how I'm gonna do better and grow the business front end I am into like um, decorating cooking all those things and you know who's really amazing at that Martha Stewart like for me to be Martha Stewart <laughs> I have such a long way to go but my brain my thought is like I start everyone loves everything that I post I have as many followers as her I have my magazine already like if it's not Martha Stewart, then I'm going to be Joanna Gaines. Like it's the, like that is where my brain automatically goes. Like I even, <laughs> I, I have that dream if to have businesses like physical brick and mortar businesses that have all the beautiful things of um, the Magnolia Market and the silos, those things. It just is a dream, and that's where I am already. But that's not starting small. And um, if you haven't ever read the Magnolia story, the book written by Joanna Gaines, she talks about how she had one tiny store and she had to shut it down. And and then later she had to pick it back up. Um, 
to you. It's a wonderful story. Like definitely pick up the book. And I love to listen to audiobooks with um, writers, um, with people. So Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines, they read the book to you. And it is wonderful to hear uh, them say it because they say it with the same emotions that they had whenever they were going through, going through it. Um, anyways, starting small. That I have to force myself to cut everything out. Um, I have two Instagrams. I have the Mama RX, and I also have um, Sharice in Chicago. At one point, I was doing them both at the same time. It was terrible trying to produce twice as much content to create two separate audiences because even though now it's um now i wanted to do like the mama rx as um like a home um homemaking kind of instagram and then sharice um in chicago as a um personal instagram that's it's it's 1000% too much to shift my focus into one Instagram has been 1000% better and to be able to go and use the same content repurposing content I think as um, creators and um, social sellers we hear that all the time of um, learning how to um, repurpose content to work that's why I always post a reel from my um, Facebook live because it helps me post more to stay in front of people and it helps people to have a little bit of um, information about the lives, but I only did it one time. Um, like I didn't go back and make another video, I just edited the video for my live. So if you haven't done that or if you're looking for a way to get people into your, your Facebook lives or your Instagram lives or even your YouTubes, <laughs> your YouTube videos that's the way you can do it I don't think people say the YouTubes or YouTubes um, I don't know I think it's just it's probably one of those ways where I'm really just a old man on the inside uh, I digress starting small picking one thing staying in that lane and going for it um, and really starting small is focus and focusing on, you know, why, like we talk about our habits, why do we have those habits and starting small. That's why I went from goals to habits. I think that going from goals to habits is kind of going backwards um, and starting small because, you know, eventually those will add up and they'll, um, it's like laying bricks. And, you know, we start one brick at a time I guess we always go one brick at a time, but when we look back and we see what we've built, those will form into something. Um, oops, sorry, I hit my leg on the camera. So, uh, I 1000% recommend that you read this Lazy Genius Way, not for, ah, Bill is coming. Yeah, baby. We, um, I recommend this even though it's really a personal life focused book um, I believe that when you have things in your personal life um, kind of figured out like I talk about you know creating a meal plan every week sometimes we feel like that but like knowing what you're gonna cook every week getting your stuff together so you're not running out it saves time by doing that um, and creating systems not just for your business but for your house so you can work them um, so so when they're utilized, you have more free time. Um, she talks about that. And I think that, um, I think that in something that we talk about in our women's group, um, every other Monday, uh, we talk about different business things. And as always, if you're interested in joining that, I would love to have you. Please just send me a, um, a message or, um, you know what I think I can do a poll and I'll figure it out and I will post a poll if you would like more information about our ladies um, group because that group um, we talk about things that make um, building business a little bit easier 
or just our personal lives a little bit easier. Um, and one of those things is whenever you start to, like if you are doing well in, another, in one area, say that you are someone who never misses um, a planned time at the gym, if you can have that consistency in one one place of your life, you can have it in another place of your life, you know? So that's something that we talk about and I, and it is eye opening and encouraging for me um, that things will spill over. It's great to have things spill over, like positive things spill over into other areas of your life because it makes you more successful. Um, and that's really what we're, why we are all here is to become successful um, in all areas of our life. Um, Let's see. So I will definitely put up that poll. And here's a look at the book again, The Lazy Genius Way. Today, um, the live is not very long because um, I'm here with um, Bill by myself. Bill is Amelia. Um, she is my toddler. Um, and right now I am distracting her with snacks and um, cocoa melon. And if you don't know what cocoa melon is, you're lucky. I, I think um, it's a kids show um, with lots of kids songs. Uh, <laughs> if you're into that, wonderful. Um, let's see. That is all for today. If you are interested in getting into our women's group where we discuss all things business and personal. Um, I would love for you to message me. I believe that direct sales or social selling, whatever you choose to call it, um, it is just a, um, what is it? Um, it is just a, <laughs> it is a, um, it is a personal growth plan with a compensation plan attached to it. And that is absolutely what direct sales is. And I love that because who wouldn't want to be paid to have personal growth, right? Uh, I am so glad that you joined me today. I will see you soon. And if I don't talk to you before Monday, I will talk to you next Monday.